Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this glute workout. My name is Shona Virtue. I'm a yoga teacher. What else am I? <laughs> I'm pregnant. So I have a bit of baby brain. <laughs> 25 weeks. I am a PT and I'm an ex-gymnast and we are going to go through a glute workout today. So I'm going to quickly take you through each of the exercises. There's only three, but they're single leg. So they are going to be quite intense. I've decided to do this whole thing with you because of the fact that form and form awareness is really, really important. I know that there are loads of workout videos out there. Let's come onto our side. I'll kind of explain this as we go through. There's loads of workout videos out there and they all just kind of like play music. I've even got some and that's fine. But for glute work, particularly during pregnancy, there's a lot of alignment cues that I want you to be aware of. And it's a lot easier if you and I are doing it together live, real time. If you know what I'm saying. Not live, but live-ish. All right, so we've got three exercises in total. The first one is a side-lying hip raise. We're working for 40 seconds. Now for this one, what we need to do is make sure our elbow is either directly underneath, but I actually like to put it just a little bit further forward. That way when we come up and lift the body off, we're not dumping all that weight into just the joint, but we can actually engage some of our deltoid here as well, okay? Now the bottom leg is gonna be bent. We're on our side, and I want you to make sure that your knee is forward. It's not in alignment with your hip, because if it is, you're gonna be working your lower back. So in order to get the glute, we need the hip to be in flexion here, and we need our foot to be in line with our hip instead. So the whole time, I want you to just be looking down. You can put another hand on top and from there lift up like so okay now this isn't going to be suitable for all of you particularly if you have pelvic girdle pain or experience pain in your pelvis have SI issues funnily enough I have SI issues ongoing from gymnastics and this is one of the exercises that helped me that helped me fix it through strengthening doesn't mean it's gonna be that way for you so again hand down we swap sides and we work through this. We're doing 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. Then we're gonna flip over into an all fours position. Now for this, you may want to grab a dumbbell. I think I've grabbed slightly too heavy a dumbbell, to be honest. <laughs> so we might only get through one round. And when you come into this position here, so I'm on my forearms, I'm really pushing to keep my ribs in. I'm gonna bring my knee down. I'm gonna kick my leg up. We're not doing that because that is working into our lower back. Alrighty, so we're gonna repeat that. You can choose not to do that exercise or as in like not to use a weight. If you choose to go body weight, that's fine. Just move a little bit faster so that you get slightly more reps, but just really watch that this isn't happening, okay? Then we come up onto our hands, push the floor away. We're gonna slightly be to the side and we're gonna kick diagonally. So if you can see, I may even get one forearm down. I've got the support and I'm really working through a slightly different area of my glute max and glute med. The first exercise works top side glute. Second exercise really focuses on max. And then the third exercise is working both of those muscles. So we're building this nice, beautiful, round, plump, strong shape. Are you ready? I am totally stalling with my talking. All right, let's just get on with it. Here we go. 40 seconds on, let's go. I would recommend that you count your reps. Three for that first set, four. So if I'm moving too quickly, then don't move at my pace. We wanna make sure that we're doing the same amount on both sides. I can already tell that 40 seconds is gonna be way too long for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Breathing in and breathing out. 10 seconds left, then we get a break. You can stop at any time, of course, but just keep those reps, even on both sides. Nice deep breath in, relax the body, keep everything nice and calm, relax the shoulders. Just checking in with our glute, checking in with our back, getting into position. We're starting in four seconds. Yes, we are. Let's go. So knee is forward. Double check that for me, please. Okay? 
because I know I see people even when they're not pregnant doing it like this. And this is a completely different exercise. This is not what we're aiming for. That's working your lower back, in particular your QL. So I want you to be flexed through the hip. You can hold onto this top leg as well if you want. Now remember, if this is too difficult, you can move into a variation like so. Okay, but the same rules apply. Bottom leg has to stay bent. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Beautiful, we've got 20 seconds, but it can be a bit fiddly to get the dumbbell in between. So I'm gonna start that process now. <laughs> I'm gonna come into all fours. I'm gonna move back. Five seconds to get ready. And while I'm here, ready? I'm really gonna focus on driving the elbows into the floor. Now notice my range is not huge, right? Like I'm not getting that knee that far. And that's partially because I have a weight, partially because in pregnancy, my pelvis is tipping forward but also because I'm really focusing on that glute, max. I'm really focusing on hip extension. Got 14 seconds left, my butt is burning. I'm gonna majorly regret programming us a 40 second on workout. Three, two, perfect. Bringing it down, getting ready for the next side. We've only got 20 seconds. I'm not even gonna apologize for my awkwardness on this. <laughs> it just is what it is. Alrighty, here we go, Shona, let's do it. Yes. Ready? Yeah, oh, kind of. Let's go. So keeping those reps nice and even on both sides. Keeping that core tight. You can even check in with that doming, double check. Top of the stomach, if you're seeing any kind of doming blowing out at the top, then of course we don't wanna continue with that, right? Let me turn around and show you from this side so that you can see my glute a little bit better. I'm really making sure that I'm keeping my pelvis as still as possible and I'm just really starting to lift through that glute. Four, three, two, and one, perfect. Okay, so make sure you work the leg that you didn't work that time. Oh, that might be the last set I do with weight, that's for sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna work my right leg and coming down. I'm on a slight angle here. Ready? Yes, we are. We're kicking back. Now notice, same thing. I wanna keep my pelvis really still. If we start to go into this kind of dance type thing, you're still gonna feel a little bit of your glutes, but it's not going to isolate the glute max, the glute med, as we want it to. I wanna keep that muscle under tension. We're trying to preserve it. The glutes atrophy during pregnancy, and that can create a whole host of issues. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Nice deep breath in, full breath out. Here we go, other side. We only have two sets, which is great. But that's why we're going for such a long set because we wanna make sure we're getting nice time under tension there. Ready? Just about. Well, let's go. So notice I'm slightly over to one side. Just think about those cue points. Inhale to bring it back, exhale to lift. Inhale to bring it back, left tilt. Exhale to lift. If you are training in front of a mirror, or you have the capacity to do so, have a look, check your form, film it. If you have questions, you're not feeling something properly in the area that you think you should feel it, then send it to me. Videoing your workouts makes it easier for me to give you comments and corrections, really well done. Okay, so we're back to the side lying hip raise in about 10 seconds. That felt like the quickest 20 seconds. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to it, but we're just gonna get it done because it's the last set. So, how many reps did you get on that first one? Let's try and match it. 
For those of you that are like, uh-uh, and your hips have given up, you can always come down to your side and work on your clams. But if you're doing your clams, just make sure, again, pelvis is not moving back and forth. We are not Shakira, Shakira. We want to be, I don't know, I don't know, Terminator? I don't know, it just, that just came to mind. Don't hate me. I don't know why I said Terminator. I was thinking robot, stiff, kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of, it's not so aspirational for us. <laughs> Although he does have great glutes. Oh my goodness. Deep breath in, full breath out. Keeping that breath going. Other side. Getting ready. Last set. I get so excited. I am. Here we go. Driving up. I always work this side a little bit more because this is the side I tend to start on. So we might just, just to even things out, make sure that this left side is getting a good workout as well. Okay. My right side is my stronger side. On certain movements. 10 seconds to go. Really dig deep for me guys here. Get those glutes nice and strong. We're pregnant, we're not weak. Oh, beautiful work. Okay, nice. Here we go. Coming into that all fours position. I'm gonna give this a go with the weights today. Now, I might have to start with the left this time. Okay. Seven seconds. I'm just gonna go for it, even though my glutes Ready? will really be paying for it tomorrow. Yes. Oh my goodness, I can't talk to you guys right now. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen. Oh my God, it's just taking all my concentration. really feel it in my supporting leg as well. So we want to really push down. Pull your mind in the muscle. For me, that's my left, even though my right feels like it wants to take over. Three, two. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well done, glutes. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for coming back for a one. One time only exclusive, this workout. Ready? <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, the blessed right leg. I can't talk, I'm concentrating. Really put your mind in that muscle, guys. Like really think about what exactly is the joint trying to do here. And what we're trying to get it to do is to extend, okay? Not through my back, but through the pelvis, which just means my femur, as you can see, my thigh bone moving back and forward. And one, oh my gosh. Okay, good work, guys. <laughs> one more to go. I think I need to get a thicker mat as well. I'm really starting to feel it in my knees. So don't forget to do that. You can always double up the edge of the mat as well but we're gonna, we're gonna get through it. Big inhale, full exhale. Yes, I am. I'm so ready because we're almost there. Now, just watch here. The more I turn to the side and lift my leg, the more this is gonna become about my glute med, this top glute. But I want it to be a bit of both. So I'm only slightly leaning to one side. And I'm kind of kicking back and out. Back and out. Back and out. If you have ankle weights and you feel like making this more intense, by all means, you can totally do this with weights. That right leg's really burning as well. Keeping that core tight. Beautiful work. We got one more side and then we are done. Enjoy that 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 minute rest. Who am I kidding? Right, it's a terrible accent, sorry. Okay, here we go. Ready? I won't give up my, my job as a PT to do accents. Squeezing, 
squeezing. Now really think about like pushing through the air. If you just kind of look, see my ankle like being all dead hang like this, no. When you think about, imagine you had a cable around your foot and you were pushing away. 10 seconds left. Oh my goodness. Hello gluteys. Oh, this mama is not gonna have flat glutes. And neither will you. Oh my goodness, beautiful work. Let's come into a squat. Now, if it's really uncomfortable for you to find a squat position, by all means, you can fold up the edge of your mat so that your heels are raised. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Make sure you check out the stretch session that you can do after this for your glutes to help keep them nice and relaxed. If you don't know already, I have a podcast. It's called The Virtue Podcast. I would highly recommend having a little listen. Particularly, you know, when you're pregnant, everyone just tells you that the best exercise to do is to just go for a walk. It's not so far from the truth, although it is really important to do other resistance-based exercises. But one of the best things about going for walks is listening to podcasts. Now, in this podcast, I talk about all things wellness from the good, the bad, and the downright disordered. But we do so using the biopsychosocial model, which is basically this very interdisciplinary approach, this multi-dimensional approach to health and well-being. So we look at things through a biological, a psychological, and a social lens. And from that, we get this way, way, way bigger picture on how to achieve health and wellness. And so I talk a bunch about lots of different topics from <laughs> attachment theory, all the way to gym confidence, to getting gains, putting on muscle, getting lean, those sorts of things. So make sure that you head over and have a look. I will link it below. And also in the comments, like let me know if there's anything specific that you want on my YouTube channel, but also for me to talk about on my podcast. I'll see you guys soon.